All right, now is as good as time as any. How to deal with a breakdown in the woods. I always have a full kit of tools. What's happened is my buffer has popped out of the rubber mount inside the suspension. So I have to take the handle off and put it back in the hole, which means the upper suspension spring and the bottom bolts. I don't think I have to take the bar off. Feeling a little clunky. I'm like, what's going on? And I look down in there and see what happened. Hopefully, the buffer itself didn't break. It's been really cold out, so who knows? God, it's it's on the bolt, the secondary bolt. So all I have to do is get it fished in the right spot. All right, this is easier than I expected it to be. I haven't done this in a minute, so that's why I'm a little rusty on it. Uh, this is only the second time I've had this come out. Bottom one back in. Coming. Just getting these a ways away. It always sounds like he's really close, but we're always a couple tree lengths apart, at least. Uh, where are you at down there? Need to get a thicker rubber bushing in there. If your saw gets yoinked too hard. You can pop that out. I don't think it's seated all the way though, is the unfortunate part. Reef on it a little bit. There we go. Got her back in. You always gotta carry a full amount of stuff with you out here because something's gonna come off your saw at some point in time. No ifs, ands, or buts. You're gonna lose a suspension mount, you're gonna bend a bar, you're gonna snap a chain. My dogs came loose earlier today. I have to relock tight those here. You just have to have all the tools with you, so I carry Spare tape, spare reload on the tape, spare nails, spare sprocket, spare clips, T handle, eight millimeter T handle, uh, hex heads, pliers to put your uh, nail back on, extra bar wrench, duct tape, electrical tape, and my little hatchet. All right, we got her back together. I'm gonna go cut some more trees.